In this video, we'll see dynamic arrays, that is one dimensional dynamic arrays. Till now, we have seen all these static arrays. Now, let us see what is dynamic arrays. So, I'll go in the sheet, the file name is Excel VBA Miscellaneous and I'll go to this developer tab, click on this Visual Basic. Now, I have created a module named as dynamic one dimensional arrays. In this place, I've written some code here. Now, when you're not sure about what should be the size of your array, that time you can leave it empty. Now, for example, you don't know how many data you have to take, how many data you have to accept. So that time what you can do is, if you know this one is the simple static array, dim a of two as integer, and the data is the same, there's no change in this. I've assigned some values to the array variables here. If you see, a of zero, one, two, and I've displayed the values, a of zero, a of two, a of one, that's it. Now, if I'm not sure how much data should be occupied in that array, that time I can remove this two, like this, okay, I can remove this two, and I can define another size of this array here by just putting as redimension a of two. So this is nothing but redimension a of two. Now the size of array will be become as three. So a of zero, a of one, a of two. Still it will work fine. Now let us see if I execute it step by step like this. If I execute it now a of two, it will work fine. A of zero is one, a of one should be 20 because a of one is 20 and a of three should be given as a of two should be 30. If I execute 30, which is working fine. And I'll just come out of the sub procedure. So when you're not sure about the dimension of the array, that time you can just leave it empty for the first time. And then you can define as relim a of two. Now suppose after some time, after uh, some few lines of code, again, if you think the size should be increased, then you can go here like this. And you can say read him a of four. Okay, read him a of four. Again, the dimension of a will be increased, array of uh, this one size will be increased. And I'll press enter. But if you observe, there will be one change. What is the change I'll show you? If I just execute step by step like this, and now what should be the value of a of zero? It should be 10. Now 10, 20, and 30. These three values should be displayed here according to rule here. If I just execute, now, if you see that is given as zero and again, the value will be given as zero. Again, the value will be given as zero and I'll just come out of the loop. Now I'll tell you the reason why it is showing a value of zero. When you redefine a value, when you redefine an array by using this read him a of whatever the value is given here, the values which were earlier in that array will be wiped, wiped out. There will be no values in that particular array. So the values will start from the scratch itself. Now, what should be done if you want the previous values? So if you want the previous values also, you can just make it as preserve. The keyword is as preserve. That means whatever values you had earlier to that, it will be still there and you can expand to next one more or you can say next two values also. So if I see, if I just click on the step into, now if you observe, it will preserve the earlier values also and it will increase the limit itself. Again, if I say, now you see the value is 10 and 20 and again step into 30. So it is working fine, I'll just come out of it, right? So simple method, leave the dimension, you don't define the dimension, just say as declare a variable, don't declare the size and then you can redefine it, read him a of 2 because it's a first time, there are no values here. Now the next time when you want to define and if you want to keep the existing values, you can just use the keyword as read him preserve preserve is the keyword and then you can use this a of four and you keep on working on it right so i hope you understood what is uh, redimension how what is dynamic arrays and how do we use it and what is the method what is the use of this preserve keyword that's all for this video